Hello everybody who's uh, watching my video on my channel here. I don't post very often and uh, when I do post it is something that I have discovered or related to or information I would do want to share. I would like to post more videos over time but I'm very busy, very lazy and, and so on. So to keep with my channel and to keep posting uh, I discovered something uh, recently involving uh, another Mandela Effect, um, and if you do not know what Mandela Effect is, uh, it basically is named after Nelson Mandela, and it's also about how somebody may have a memory of some, like a group of people, many people have this, a memory of something that is incorrect um, in the reality we live in. So Nelson Mandela, may, people may have believed he died in the 90s in jail. And me personally, I kind of remember dying outside of jail. But when he died, didn't correlate from what I recall um, the 2000s. So basically, it's just like that. Or the Ford logo, logos of sayings and so on, um, maybe colors. There's tons and tons of Mandela effects that are out there. So, some people are affected more than others, uh, and some people have a theory that we live in a different reality. There's different theories out there that go all over the place, but for me personally, I'm sort of more fascinated about how people have a memory that are similar to mine, and we're all incorrect about what's in this reality around us, what we remember, what we were raised by, etc. So, uh, I noticed something fairly recent that I, I remember seeing on a list, um, or it could have been a video about the Mandela Effect I watched a month or two ago, I don't really recall. I remember one of the, the videos, it might have even been on like, like BuzzFeed or something, I don't know. Uh, they spoke about um, uh, Smokey the Bear, and I had a memory of him being called Smokey the Bear. And I remember growing up hearing about Smokey the Bear. <laughs> so... He actually is not called, and I had, if you do a search engine uh, through any like Google, etc., you'll find uh, that he's called Smokey Bear. It's not called Smokey the Bear. And I'm showing you guys right now, this is the browser on uh, Google. I search Smokey Bear. If you type in Smokey the Bear, it's interesting if people look Smokey the Bear up, and it does not correlate with that. Okay, and you find a lot of people searching it, Smokey the Bear or Smokey Bear. You see, it's it's very interesting. You, you find people searching these um, constantly, and are they're incorrect? Um, it could have been just a common mistake that you know he was always called Smokey Bear. People called inside to call him Smokey the Bear. However, the great amount of people keep searching this, I do find it kind of fascinating. You'll go to Wikipedia here. You'll see Smokey Bear is, a, again, his advertising mascot. He's always been called Smokey Bear. He's never called Smokey the Bear. Okay? You can check it out yourself. Do all the research you want. Uh, now, if I go into his official website, it's the same thing. You'll see Smokey Bear listed through here uh, constantly over and over and over again. Okay? So... Basically, what I'm getting at, uh, which this whole video is about, is uh, residue. Now, residue, what people like to call is, uh, you'll find clips uh, or videos, audio clips, pictures, etc., media, some art possibly of uh, what our old memories were. So, what we thought our memories were. So, in this case, I remember me calling Smokey the Bear. So, I was watched, like, as everyone may have known, uh, uh, Twin Peaks has come back on uh, TV on Showtime. And I was introduced by Twin Peaks by my boyfriend. And he said, hey, you know, you've never seen Twin Peaks. Uh, I was, you know, born in the 80s. I didn't really get to watch Twin Peaks when I was a child, of course. But um, now I'm like, maybe it's the time to watch it. You know, I mean, 
So I'm like, okay, I'll catch up on Twin Peaks. My boyfriend really likes it. The new show's starting on Showtime. It's an exciting time for us. So I started to watch the, the show on Netflix. And when I was watching it, I got to, um, it was on season one, episode two. And we're further in the story. So spoiler alert, it's not really much of a spoiler, it's episode two. You have two characters um, on the show. And I'm going to show you a clip uh, next here. And it shows what I would say residue of Smokey the Bear. Now, as some of you may not know, uh, Twin Peaks actually came out, the TV series came out in the 90s. Okay? So the first episode dated in 1990. Now, that's saying that this residue, which was filmed around the time, is from that time period. And basically, it was called Smokey the Bear, what they remembered and said in the show. Is it possible, for copyright reasons, they said Smokey the Bear instead of said Smokey Bear? It's very possible. Now, again, this is take it or leave it. But this is just a possible evidence of residue that I would like to share with other people that I saw. Okay? Uh, so I'll play the clip right now. One night. Some night we went pizza off on a toot with Smokey the Bear. Oh, I remember. Smokey the Bear. Smokey the Bear. So there you have it. Uh, basically, she says, Smokey the Bear. And I had the captions on. You can clearly hear her saying Smokey the Bear. Uh, so, like I said before, it's Smokey Bear. Um, if you want to comment about it, you have any other ones to share, if anyone else has discovered this one yet, feel free to share it below. Any other ones you've discovered, anything, really, just share it. Uh, thank you for your time, and please comment, subscribe, etc., 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 like the video or something. All right? Thank you.